And welcome back to Nuka World. Feels great to have a proper looking assault rifle back in hand. This is the guy that tried to trick us, I believe. Hey, just wanted to say no hard feeling. All right? Surprised to see me alive? Hey, I may be surprised, but in a good way, all right? Just because I got you in here doesn't mean I didn't regret it. You never mentioned I was walking into a death trap. I know, and I'm sorry. But if you ever cared about anyone, you'd do the same thing. I lost my real family, and Coulter and his gangs took this place from us. Now, these traitors are all I have left. They're my family now. Every time Coulter sent me out to lure people into the gauntlet, I didn't have a choice. I had to do it, or he'd kill someone I cared about. I'm just sorry you had to get caught up in all this. Did you ever fail to bring someone in? Never. Couldn't afford to. Used to be me and another guy they'd send out. He thought he'd try and escape while he was out there. They found him, made him watch as they tortured and killed two of our own. And they sent him through the gauntlet themselves. After that, the choice was obvious. Like I said, sorry you got caught up in all this. Do we believe this secondary sob story? I don't know. He probably wouldn't try to lie now that we could actually find out for ourselves. Now that we you still need me? Run the All joint. right, Harvey. I understand. Good to hear, boss. Never figured I'd find myself in this situation before. I thought for sure I'd be a goner. Well, better get back to it. Are you a sheep or a wolf? Because the pack only runs in the woods. And I did go back, um, I went back to the Commonwealth real quick and, like I said, modded this, uh, AK that I have now. Gave Hancock the phony looking 5.56 rifle. Where was that arcade? But I think that was going to be the, my next stop. Looks like that's the zoo section. Seems like every time I fix one thing, another thing breaks. That's the office, huh? Crazy. 
pack and disciples. Bunch of amateurs playing dress up. I thought about trying my hand at gauntlet to see Something you don't see in the Commonwealth that of often rum. No one's topping your performance. Sometimes you gotta ask yourself, how high were they when they built this? Overboss, are you in trouble? They're gonna head on in, over boss. Go talk to this gang leader while I'm here. Sorry, Max. All anyone's turned up so far is that she's got that pit boy on her arm. So, I mean, older boss is a vault dweller. Or ice the vault dweller. You can go. They're talking about me. Hey. Not supposed to hurt the other gangs. No rule against tricking them into hurting each other, though. Hey. Got my attention. Grab that. You got it. Hey there. Well, I suppose we all owe you for putting down Coulter. Man was an idiot. Made us all look bad. <laughs> A clown stuck in his own little car. I guess we can take some solace in the fact that someone finally gave him what he deserved. I want to know, what did you feel as you did it? When you brought that walking pile of human garbage to his knees? What were you discussing when I walked in? Well, you, Overboss. You're an unknown quantity, and we're interested in knowing who we're dealing with. So we'd like if you answered the question. Yes. What went through you as you crushed the life out of that oaf? To go B because that guy was taunting us for what, 30, 40 minutes through that gauntlet? Taking down an opponent like that, it's thrilling. Sure looked it. Hmm. Perhaps you're better suited to this than I expected. Regardless, Gage's decree means that you're the new overboss. I suppose we can only hope you work out better than the last one. I'm Mags. This is my brother, William. Pleasure. Along with our co-conspirator, Lizzie, we run this crew call ourselves the operators you'll come to understand soon enough that we are the only gang you should be backing around here because we're the only ones who see this place for what it is a temple a testament to the only thing that matters in this world uh soda <laughs> not quite caps this place was built for the sole purpose of taking caps out of the pockets of fools. We only joined Gage and Coulter's little menagerie in order to restore it to that goal. Though by somewhat more cutthroat methods than I expect its founders intended. Instead, Coulter had us sitting on our asses for the better part of a year while he lived large in his damn mountain tub. And that means, if you're going to be in charge around here, We'd like some assurances that you intend to bring this place back to its true purpose. And that we're going to get back to robbing folks of their fucking money. Right. 
And you want to explain to me why exactly I should be backing the operators? Because we dispense with the bullshit. My people aren't commanded by lunatic bloodlust or animal instincts. We are the only rational players around here, and would make valuable allies, so long as we know you intend to get this place back to bringing in caps. So we want to know what your plan is. They could use the new Vegas model for uh, bringing in the caps and just, uh, you know, make it a tourist location. My goal is to use this place to make all the money I can. Well, it's about damn time. Hmm. I look forward to seeing your claims put into action. So, you're welcome in the parlor whenever you like. Make yourself at home. And if you think you might be interested in running some jobs for us, you just come speak to me. And we'll all be anxiously awaiting getting this place back to doing what it does best. Hey. What you got? I'm gonna rob all your uh, ceramics here. Get that. Sure. Mags always saw the potential in this place, and she doesn't steer us wrong. Hey, William. Should be a couple odd jobs available if you want to get your hands dirty. Talk to Mags. You do what you got. Imagine the amusement park business was uh, not having it well for those last few weeks. What with everyone worried about getting nuked and all. The president had already cleared out, went to the oil rig. your mother. I want you to know, your father and I, we take no pleasure in this decision. But at this point, we don't have a choice. You and Bill have dragged the black name through the muck for the last time. What they say you two and that Wyeth girl did to those classmates of yours, true or not, 
defending you both again and again. It's gotten to the point we can barely do business in this town anymore. You two have cost us so much. And are you repentant? Are you sorry? Of course not. Well, we are through defending you. You're going to accept the exile the town demands. You're going to leave Diamond City for good. And you will never, ever see another cap from your father or I again. You had every chance in the world to make this right, Maggie. Well, we are done giving you chances. I don't think we saw anyone in Diamond City with this last name. Mother, it's Max. Thank you so much for your tape. It kept William, Lizzie, and I very entertained during our time in the holding cell. We found the part about refusing us our inheritance particularly amusing. Because that money is ours. Years we spent under your thumb, That's trying to be the perfect little doll you always wanted. Both have the scars to prove it. Sweet. We broke in here before we went and met the other gang leaders. Get to know who we're up against. act like rabid animals. Ought to be dealt with the same way. If Lizzie asks you to volunteer for one of her tests, don't. Right now, as far as gathering stuff, I'm only gathering uh, and it looks really cool. aluminum You're gonna be my right -hand man and uh, actually pretty much just aluminum. I never have too much of that. Mags, William, and Lizzie. All you have to do is hear them speak to know they weren't born into this life. They sure as hell were born for. Understanding the operators ain't hard. 
We know how to live. The other gangs, dying is more their strong suit. Yeah, aluminum and ceramic. That's the other thing we're... Understanding the operators ain't hard. We know how to live. The other gangs, dying is more their strong suit. Here's a little something which I know you all heard pieces of before. So you got a ride of choice. I'm usually a mentor myself. Makes me feel really intellectual. Overboss. Making trouble? William and Lizzie. All you have to do is hear them speak to know they want to see what kind of these are fetch quests or what. Nuka World is a trap for fools and an opportunity for those who recognize it. Hey, Max. Intriguing job came our way. It's yours if you want it. There a problem? There's an old nuisance that I'd like taken out. Up for a bit of wet work. Who will I be facing? Raiders. Nothing but pushovers, really. If I scratch your back, I expect you'll scratch mine. Not to worry, Overboss. Successful jobs don't go unpaid among the operators. Think I'm gonna enjoy that? Then I'll leave you to it. Give you jobs to kill the raiders in the Commonwealth. I think I've already cleared out that location probably, probably five times for various uh, other ambient quests. Visitors, you get special Boss man, Lauren sells the drinks. You'll probably want to Can't be any worse than culture, right? Right? Hey, asshole. I thought about trying to raider radio. See if I can do it. Waste of time now. 
that one stop here. Uh, Nisha has the following to say to the pack. Take one more shit on our lawn, and we'll put you Thank down. You. Oh, boy, I don't write them, folks. I just read them. So, I told you about Atlas, the meanest raider to ever wander this world. And how he fell for hope. A beautiful what that is. A rival gang that didn't get two shits about him. Now, like I said, Atlas, he was used to getting his way. So he gathered up a big old army of raiders, marched right up to the town where Hope's gang, the Junkers, was all holed up, and demanded she come out and talk to him. Hope, headstrong as she was, very politely yelled over the wall and told Atlas exactly where he could shove his intentions. I hear she launched that golden Brahmin right back over the wall at him too. Atlas, as you might imagine, didn't take too kindly to being disrespected, but in his own special crazy-ass way, he found himself wanting hope even more. He was in a bind now, you see. He couldn't let her insult stand, but he wasn't ready to just up and storm the town and risk killing hope in the process. In my opinion, folks, ain't no relationship worth this kind of trouble. Must be just a... being honest with you. Anyway, so Atlas out for us out a few of his lieutenants talks to them all quiet for a few minutes. Then, these poor saps march right out in front of the wall surrounding the town, and I swear to you, they set themselves on fire right then and there. Over the screaming, Atlas yells that if he can convince these good men to set fire to themselves, imagine what he can convince the other couple hundred men to do to their town. Personally, I find hey. that a pretty convincing argument. But Pick that up. She ain't back at that. Just like always. The story goes, windows Take that. You're not going to get it in the down just from the shock. Nope. Hope and her gang wake up the next morning and find their town packed. Well, let's it all hang out. As the eye can see. Atlas says it's the last threat he's going to make before he storms their gates. And honestly, between us, this whole thing has already gone way off the rails. And bring my kids now, here someday. She's a good woman. A raider Hi. Work hard. Play hard. That's she the raider way. No way so, what are you doing? Atlas and his army. What have you so got? I got whatever liquor this rowdy bunch can get their hands on. From fine spirits to rock gut that'll put a fire in your belly. Let's see what you got. Coming right up. Atlas, proud man that he is, takes her up on that arm. And it's not until he's shaking her hand that he hears the beeping. Clever woman that she was, Hope went and strapped herself up with more than a couple of mini books. She knew what she was about. Now, I am told that I'm not selling candies. I might as well not. A little no off. rule against trick. I mean, there's a chance. We all do explosion. our part. Men, hundreds of sure. miles away. I'm here to drink. But I'm not letting my guard down for a second. Days after. For as big and as tough as he was, they ain't never found all of us. Sure, we carry guns. But not where it's at. It's not like fun unless you're close. True story. 